And welcoming to the Feel Good Friday for the very first time, Professor Nogtula Sibio. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, good afternoon, good baby, afternoon, and, and good afternoon, good afternoon to the, to the uh, listeners, uh, at home. listeners at home. Thank you for uh, having, me in, your having me in your studio. Uh, absolutely. So I think we should get straight into it. I know that you are a very busy person. So let's get straight into it for this particular uh, afternoon. But uh, Prof. Sabia, as the first female vice chancellor of MUT, what does this milestone mean to you? And how do you hope to, you know, if, inspire future generations of women in leadership? Um, um, baby, I must, baby, I must indicate that it's quite that exciting, it's quite for, exciting me for me to be appointed, to be appointed as the first, as the first female, female vice, chancellor vice chancellor and principal, and principal of, MUT. of MUT after 45, after 45 years, years of its existence. Of its existence. Uh, this year, uh, we, this are year we are celebrating 45 years. 45 years. Uh, uh, it, coincides it coincides with the time, with the time when, when the country is celebrating, celebrating Women's Month. Women's month. So, so this means a means lot to me. I must indicate that there are few women vice chancellors in the country. Out of, Out of 26 public, public universities, universities, I join on the six women visits who are leading the institutions of higher learning in, in, South, in South, Africa. South Africa. So it's quite so exciting, it's quite for, exciting me. for me. Oh, what an achievement. Absolutely wonderful stuff. But now I'm sure, you know, you were anxious prior to the announcement. Now describe the moment, you know, where, you know, the announcement you were announced as, you know, the vice chancellor of MUT. What were the emotions? What emotions did you experience? How did you celebrate this particular achievement? You know, you know, you know Bibi, it, you know, it was quite exciting. My appointment, My appointment was, announced was announced through the through MUT, the radio, MUT radio, by the radio by the administrator on Thursday, first of August, August, around 600 around hours. hours. These news These reached news me reached while, me while, while relaxing, relaxing at home. At home. Following, following an exhausting virtual, virtual meetings I attended on this day. So as a religious person, I immediately prayed to thank the Almighty God for affording me this opportunity to lead the university. Mm, absolutely. So inspirational. Now, I know a lot of young women look up to you, considering the amount of individuals that were so excited for this interaction today. But what advice would you give to women who are, you know, obviously exp aspiring to break through the glass ceilings uh, in their respective fields? What skills, qualities or even mindsets do you think uh, are essential? You know, being, you know, being a, 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 woman a woman of the 21st, of the 21st century, century, it's so amazing. It's so amazing. Because of all because the of things all the century, the century, has, century to offer, has to offer, it, uh, from, it, uh, from, ranging, ranging from modernization, from modernization technology, technology, and medical advancement, allow all, modern, all women modern, women modern women to be much to be more, much more intelligent, intelligent, stronger, stronger self-sufficient, self and important than, important than ever before, than before in history. In history. Um, mm -hmm. a, woman, a woman, I want to say want to a say woman, is, woman the is the other half of the, half whole, of the whole equation. equation. And the world, and the world is finally is able, finally to, see able that to see that during the 21st, during the 21st century. century. So to inspire, so to inspire young, people, young people, I want to say, I, to say, I mean young girls, I mean young and, women, girls and, women, and women, I want to say, I want to say when, when opportunities avail themselves, avail themselves we, must we must be ready to take up to the take position. This means we must strive to improve our qualifications and use every opportunity to take up to take leadership, up leadership positions, positions so that we, so we could that we acquire, acquire relevant experience and leadership and skills. Leadership skills. Mm, mm, absolutely. I totally agree with that. But as women, as you know, we go through so many and so much. We wear, you know, multiple hats throughout the day. What are some of the most significant challenges you've faced as a woman in leadership? And how have you navigated them? What support system have you have you used? What has been crucial to your success? You know, baby, you know, baby it, has it has often been, often said, been on said on numerous occasions, on numerous occasions that Africa... That Africa has a patriarchal, has a patriarchal society. society. And I want to say, want to say institutions of higher learning, learning are no exception to no this pattern. This pattern. I have gone I have up the ranks up the in higher education, education from being the from head of department, head of department executive, dean, executive dean, deputy vice, deputy chancellor, vice chancellor, teaching teaching learning, chancellor teaching and learning, deputy, 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 deputy vice chancellor, chancellar research, research innovation and engagement, and engagement acting, acting vice chancellor, vice -chancellor, -chancellor in the very same institution, and, institution and, finally and finally appointed as the vice chancellor. I want to say it has not been a very easy journey. You know, I always, you know, say, I always say South African, South African public, public universities, universities were, made were made for men, for men were made by, were men, made by men, men, for men, for men, for men. 
So if you get the opportunity to be an executive, you have to put in triple the effort than your male counterpart. This means one has to be resilient, develop a thick skin, and always think on the toes. Otherwise, men will swallow you and prove that you are not fit to lead. You know, this year, you know, Bibi, we are celebrating 30 years into democracy in South Africa. In South Africa. Mm. But we still but note we still with, concern with concern gender disparity, gender disparity in, higher in higher education. Since 1994, Since 1994 there have only been 20, only women, 20 women versus women in, the country. in the country. Currently, as Currently, I indicated, as I we, have six. we have six. Three are doing three their are first term and three are doing their second term. Uh, those, that uh, those that are doing second, the second term, term chances, chances are they may not. They may not uh, I mean, those that are doing I mean, are a second term, a second first term, term chances term. are chances they may not. They, they may they may not be replaced by women versus. They are likely to be replaced by male versus. Absolutely. Now, I, you know, I think that this this one might stir the pot a bit, but how do you think, you know, women's leadership styles differ from men's and what unique strengths do women bring to the table? Uh, people can uh, differ, people on, can many differ on many fronts. Men can Men have leadership can have qualities, leadership like, qualities compassion. like compassion. All right, I think that we have lost uh, Professor Sabia. And of course, it's 90.4 FM in Durban and 105.6 FM in Peter Maritzburg. Uh, sadly, sadly lost. But of course, we're going to try our best to get her a little bit later on. But of course, you're listening to us live on 90.4 FM in Durban and 105.6 FM in Peter Maritzburg. Professor Sabia, I think you can hear us now again. I think we are back. Yes, I can hear yes, you loud and clear. Loud and clear. Thank ah, you. I Thank can, you. I can see you loud and clear now. But, you know, just to, you know, conclude the interview for this particular afternoon, you know, as a trailblazer in your field, you know, what legacy are you hoping to leave behind? And how do you want to be remembered as a leader and educator? You know, uh, baby, you know, I have uh, baby, only five. I have, five, I, I have five, a five-year contract, five contract as the vice chancellor. As vice chancellor. And, when I leave, and when I leave, I want to be remembered, remembered as the first woman VC who brought stability, who brought stability at, at MUT, a vice, vice chancellor that brought, brought financial sustainability, sustainability and enhanced, and enhanced academic, academic project by growing, by growing the, academic the academic programs and qualification mix at MUT. Ah, absolutely inspirational. But finally, what is your vision um, for MUT and how do you see the university contributing to the empowerment of women and the broader society? Um, um, MUT, MUT is the only university, only university that, is that is located in a township. In a township. So it is strategically so strategic located, located at the heart of Mlazi, so as to benefit so as to the benefit community of Mlazi and students and from students disadvantaged, from disadvantaged universities. universities. This we could this do by could enhancing, do by our, enhancing partnership our partnership with the community with of Mlazi. We already have we already an anchor strategy, strategy that, we developed, that we have developed, which aims to, which empower, aims to empower the community of Mlazi. So, so my vision is to be a sustainable university delivering transformative, innovative, and socially responsive education that address the needs of the country by offering relevant academic programs. Oh, absolutely. And I wish you absolute of the best. And thank you so much for joining us and taking up your time to chat to us today about your amazing brilliance. And I wish you all of the best. Take care, Prof. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so for having thank me. You for thank, having you. thank you. Thank you. All right.
to change 